close your eyes and make up your mind you're going to stay here. It's a strange phrase, make up your mind. It refers to the fact that you have many minds, and you have to get the right minds focused right here. The minds that want to have a long-term happiness, the minds that realize that if you're going to gain anything good in life, you have to be willing to give. This is a lesson we learned from generosity, a lesson that we learned from virtue. In other words, if you want to be well treated by other people, you have to treat them well. And if you want peace and quiet in the mind, you have to do the work. So the work here is directed thought and evaluation. You direct your thoughts to one object, and then you evaluate it, like the breath. Is the breath comfortable? Is it a good place to stay? If it's not, how can I change it? You take an interest in the breath. And even though we're here to get the mind, you focus a lot of attention on the breath. Because it's in being intent like this that you develop good qualities in the mind. We're not just here to watch the mind, we're here to train it. And the mind needs to be trained in skillful qualities, skillful habits. So you make up your mind you're going to stay here, and then you follow through. When we say make up, also it sounds to me like make something up. And there is an element of fabrication here. Because you've got to put things together just right. So when things are not going well, you always reflect back, what am I doing? What can I do better? It's this element of reflection that helps you grow in the practice. So you commit yourself to being here and then you reflect on it. You make up your mind in the right direction, and then you try to maintain that state of mind and adjust it, fix it, and you find that you get better and better at it, and it requires less and less effort. The mind is more and more inclined to want to do the skillful thing, to want to make the skillful choice, because you begin to see the results. But in the very beginning, you have to make things up based on your conviction. And when conviction gets weak, you have to shore it up, make sure that it's strong. Because until you reach stream entry, there's always going to be some doubt. So expect that the state of mind you're going to develop is going to require some main maintenance, some looking after. But it's a good state of mind to be in. This is going to take you where you want to go. You want to go to a place where the mind doesn't have to suffer, where the mind can put down its burdens. And this is a direction in which we have to go. We have to put in the effort first, and then we'll get the results. So we're not here just to get, we're also to give. And the giving has to come first.